Alright, hello. This is going to be a modding tutorial of how to ISO mod GTA 4, the original, or the Ballad of Gay Tony. And I'm going to be doing it with the updated links, the updated mods, the best mod menus out right now, currently. And the things that you're going to need, you're going to need your Xbox to be open. Like mine. Mine is open right now. So yeah. You're gonna need to open. I have a video of how to open it and close it. And you're gonna know you're gonna need to know how to ISO mod. ISO I'm just gonna show like how to make the disc. That's all this video is about. Alright, um and you're gonna need a USB. That's gonna be your uh, swap the disc. Alright, the discs that you're going to need are either Verbatim, you can get them off Amazon, or these Sony's right here that I got for the cheap ass price, like for the low low. Like these, DVD plus D R D L. I got them at BJ's. Yeah. I got them for like eight bucks for a pack of twenty five. Like it was crazy. I was like, might as well. It doesn't matter even if I get failures for eight bucks. That's nasty. You take that shit. I only got maybe like one failed disc. The other disc just didn't work. I guess because I didn't do the mods right. But there was one disc that froze, so that's why I was like, oh, it was a failure. Um. Alright, and the mods I'm going to be using are the Smooth EV8 for the Ballad and the original. See, that's that's the Ballad. Smooth V8, and that's the original V8. And then I'm Glitching's Mod Loader version 2 for the Ballad and the original. And then Buffeting. Everybody knows Buffeting, so. And the two are kind of like lower but I actually think maybe this movie V8 might be ahead of both for buffeting and I'm glitching. I'm glitching just came out with his mod menu soon. His mod loader maybe like a couple weeks ago. So his stuff is buffering has been out for a long time. Smoothie depends. He's been out for a good amount of time too, so Alright. Let me see. Uh what do we got? Alright, so what you're going to do is, you're going to need to get the ISOs for GTA 4 or the Ballad, whichever one you're doing. I'm going to show you how to do it. And you're going to need uTorrent. And you're also going to need WinRAR though, if you don't have it. You're going to need it to open up the zip profile files. Alright, so you're going to need uTorrent. You're gonna go, I'm gonna have all the links in the description to all of this. I'm talking about all of it. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to uTorrent. I have the link for it. You're gonna download it. You see where it says free download? You're just gonna click on that and it'll start downloading. Alright. After you download that, you're gonna want to go to and go get the ISO. Since I'm in the US, I use the NTSC um, GTA ISOs. Alright, so I'm gonna be doing the ballad. So I'm gonna give you the link for that one. For this is for the Pirate Bay. Alright then. Um, should be for this one, and then all you gotta do is just click get this torrent, and then it'll take you right to um, it'll take you right to it. Till what's that pro? Till um, you torrent, and it'll start downloading it there. So, since I already downloaded it, I just press no, and here it is. I already, since I already downloaded it, that's the one that I downloaded. Grand Theft Auto Auto Episodes. 
what you do is after it finishes there's gonna be a, a pause button and a stop button click the stop button then what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on it that's gonna come up right there that's gonna come up alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll it to the top the first one right after Marvel what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the desktop create a new file I mean folder name it anything you want but I'm gonna name it GTA 4 the ballad of game Tony ISO alright so that's what it's gonna be named So after that, what you're going to do here is you're going to go to that, double click it, oh wait no, don't double click, I mean right click it, put it extract files, hold on, alright, put extract files to GTA 4, the Battle of Gatonia is so press OK and then that's gonna that's gonna come up it's gonna take maybe I don't know maybe like two or three minutes alright but for now while that's going you're gonna need to download the other programs download the other programs which are gonna be these three right here ABGX 360, Xbox Mac of Creator, IMG Burn. Image Burner. So, that and I guess you guys could choose between which one you guys want to use between the three mod menus. And the best mod loaders. That's the best mod loaders I think are out. I haven't seen any other ones yet. But these are like the most recent ones. So there's I'm Glitching, there's, you know, those. Um, between all three, I'm gonna use a smooth V8 because I already used buffeting and I already used I'm glitching. I'm actually using I'm glitching now, but I'm gonna use smooth V8 for now. I want to try out his because when his first came out, like at the beginning of July, the version 8, everybody said it was gonna be like the best one. And so I want to use it now that he gave it off for free. I'm going to give the link to that one and to that one. All of them. I hate that every time it goes on, the pirate bay it always shows shit. Alright. Uh, let me see. This is the buffeting one. Just to show you right now. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, last update was the 21st. So it was about maybe two to three weeks ago already. That was Buffetings. This is I'm Glitching's Loader version 2. And there it is. And then the last one is the Smooth EV8, which he just released like six days ago. Yep. Alright, I'm going to be showing you how to do like all three of them. I'm, I'm going to do the Smooth V8, but I'm going to show you how to put it in all three. It's pretty simple and obvious for people who don't know. I'm doing it basically for people who don't know because not that many people know how to ISO mod sometimes when it requires like more more stuff basically files almost done come on come on well we'll see um while i'm doing this already might as well mention i did a video earlier of forza 4 modding um USB modding. I mentioned 1500 subscribers 
I meant to say 2000 but that's for the for the giveaway whoever's my 2000 subscriber gets a free pair of beats by Dr. Dre Studios in white I have the video to that one too I put it on I'm gonna put his intro alright and whenever this is done we should be ready to go right after this we're gonna open up ABGX360 and there it is, it's done. Alright. Close, U turn it. And then go to AVGX360. Now, you're gonna need to have everything the same as me. So, all what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at my options out there right now. Take a look at them. You can pause the video and relook at them if you want. Right here, select your consoles region. Mine is NTSC because I'm from the US, so that's how it is for mine. And then after you do that, you're gonna click the file button over here. Uh, go to desktop. You're gonna get your GTA the Balagay Tony ISO. Click on the only file there and then click launch. And then that should come up. Basically, it's patching your ISO so when you go online, you don't get caught by people who are working for Microsoft roaming around and the different people, you know, those type of people underground, undercover. But if they go inside the game and they see you, obviously if they see you, they, they can get you. Another thing is, if you get banned, it's not my fault. I'm just trying to show you guys like crazy mods and stuff. I mean, I haven't got banned yet. I'm not planning on to neither, I hope. It's an old game, so it's, it's, it should be fine. should have nothing to worry about. But right here, it's just waiting. We'll see what's. Uh, we gotta wait for the percent to be done. All right, time left. Twenty seconds. Come on, come on. After this, um, you're gonna close the ABGX360 and get ready to go to Xbox Backup Creator. This is gonna be the part where I'm gonna show you between which mod menu you guys are gonna choose. All right, so it says it right there. Make sure everything is in green. Anything yellow, if you did get anything yellow, would just be because it's old, but that's it. But if it's red, then you have to go and check what happened. Do it again. Alright, so right there, everything's done. Press any key, just press enter. And then close all ABGX. Alright, now go and open up Xbox Backup Creator. It's gonna come up, run. Alright, now go to Image Tools. Image browser, file, open image file. You're gonna go on the ISO again, hit there, open, and it should open up. All right, there's a difference between, well, since this is actually the battle, I can only show you the battle for this one. I can't show you for GTA 4, but in GTA 4, Four, I think it's I forgot where you click you click on so I think it's common data CD images and what I'm about to show you for now right now but in DLC 2 is what you'll see in common so yeah you see right there DLC 2 CD images script network all right that's where you're gonna go right now but before you do any of that you click on your ISO at the top you extract default.zex to desktop. Right. So 
So there it is right there. Make sure you take it off. If not, something might happen. Usually if you don't take it off, something happens. So what you do is you're going to do what I click right there. And go to CE Images. Go to Script Network. And then to, now you know it's the time where you choose between which mods you want. It all depends. So it means it's all the same thing. They're all good mods, but I, I'm going to use the Smoothie v 8 because I want to try them out to see how they are. Alright, let's see. Um, the Battle of the Gay Tony. Right here. Alright, working. The working edition is one that you want. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to Go over here, open and take out the file. Hold on, let's close this. Minimize down. Alright. There's your script network for the Bivigate Tony for the image. Now you're going to want to take it out. Take out both of them. Alright. Now you're going to go over here. Replace them with press script image and then press replace and then look for the script images right here. Press open. All right, green bar is gonna come up. All right, now go to script network. And press replace for the script network. Um, that will be for the smooth V8s right there. Open. Alright, now the smooth V8s also require that you do more stuff to it, like change the, the RPF and the and the common RPF. So that would be in the file that I have next to it, credits and textures up here. Click on that. Click on V8 credits. And then you're going to click common.rpf. You're going to take that one out. And then take out Xbox 360.rpf. All right, hold on. Let me let me check something. All right. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Alright then, so now we just go back and we click on that top one. And we take out we take out the common and the Xbox RPF. We replace it with the common the RPF file right there. I mean I forget what I just did. Go to Xbox 360.rpf. I clicked on common for that one. Yeah, click that. Even if it says any of that, don't worry. Common.rpf, replace. Right there, there it is, there it is. Open. Alright, now you're gonna go to default zex and replace with the default zex which is right here open and there it is and your modded file is now done close image exit and then x that out and then go all the way over here and go to I image burn all right X on that. Wait, no. Don't click on that actually. I got confused. Alright, tools, settings. You want to have the same settings that I have right here. Take a look at them. Make sure you have that in the sectors. Over there, that number, you have to have that number. 
All right, and then you press OK, and then you go to Write Image File to Disk. Click on that little thing right there, the Browse. You go to GTA 4 ISO. You click on the Disk Image File, the one with the small amount. Click on that one. It'll open. Write speed for my computer is three. As soon as I put in the disk, I'm gonna put in the disk right now for this movie EV8s. I mean, these discs are pretty good. I think they're worth it for sure. Much cheaper than the Verbitsons. All right, let's put it in right here. Now it's going to start reading it. Alright, let's see, let's see. And it's done. Right there, it's reading it. Supported write speeds 3 times, 4 times, 6 times. Yours will tell you what yours you can do. Make sure you know which one you're writing with, and then verify in test mode. Make sure it's checked off, and then click right here, and it's starting the process. All right, it's like five o'clock in the morning, but it was worth doing this video for sure. I wanted to get this video over, but that's basically how to mod those. Basically, but I don't think. Let me see. I'm glitching. It didn't. It didn't have. I'm glitching it. I know for sure it didn't have um, the common in the Xbox 360 dot RPF. I was kind of confused when I first saw that DLC dot RPF for um, for smooth EV8. I didn't know where to put it. So I just want to go look around. That's why I tell you I would pause for a second. And then the Buffetings Mod Manager, it all depends. But right now, I guess since the computer's writing a disk, it's taking long to open the files. But I don't think the other two will need it. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm glitching. Yep, it just needed just those two. Alright, and just to make sure, open up buffering. Xbox 360. Gotta get Tony up. Oh, yeah, those two. The other two were just probably there, just, you know, for the smooth EVAs to be like the best ones. That's probably why they got um, those RPFs. Alright, so as soon as I'm done with this, I'll be hot swapping it on the Xbox over there. Alright, so rate, comment, subscribe, tell me if you like the video, remember I'm doing a giveaway as soon as I reach 2,000 subscribers for the Beats, the, the White Beats by Dr. Dre Studios, I'm giving them away, yeah, it's almost 5 o'clock. Alright, and have a good day, and I should be doing some videos on the Xbox with the mods. And if you want, even, if you find me in a game, maybe I'll do um, a live game with the mods and I'll let everybody come in and join and have fun with the mods. Alright, have a good day and um, rate, comment, subscribe, like the video. I'm trying to get it out there, more subscribers for the giveaway. Alright, see you guys later. ZR1.